ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நம வெல்கம் டு தன்லைன் கிளாஸ் சில்ட்ரன் சோசியல் சயின்ஸ் கிளாஸ் செவன் சிவிக்ஸ் சாப்டர் டெமோக்ரசி So in the previous session we have learnt about the elements that makes a democracy popular in the world. And now we move on to the topic equality and justice in India. Okay. So in the previous session only we have learnt about the different features of democracy. Okay. What are the different features of democracy? This includes... people's participation okay this includes people's participation and conflict resolution equality and justice of all this feature equality and justice for all equality and justice for all is a important assurance given to the people of a democracy form of government okay and certain kinds of people certain sections of people in india like dalit and women they had been ill treated for a long time they had been ill treated for a long time so listen your children so we so far discuss about the equality and justice and it is an important assurance given to the people people of the democratic form of government democratic form of government okay but still some of the sections of people like dalit and they were also called as untouchables and women and tribal people they had been ill treated for a long time for the long time so the constitution makers they were aware about all these things so that they created some of the provision to improve the life of the disadvantages groups let's see what are the steps taken taken to improve the disadvantages groups yeah so now the first step what is that the constitution granted the universal adult franchise what is this universal adult franchise so here the citizens of in uh, citizens of the democratic form of government can enjoy this universal adult franchise that is every adult those who are aged above 18 irrespective of their gender religion caste and race and so on so irrespective of all these things each adult they can have the equal right to vote they have the equal right to vote so each vote taken into account of a same value okay each vote is taken into account of one value okay so what happens the constitution granted the universal adult franchise okay so that means the each every adult who are aged above 18 have the voting right they have the voting right so everyone's oath everyone's oath in respect of their caste religion world and uh, uh, and other thing religion race so in respect of all these things they had the same value it has taken into account as a same value okay so this universal adult franchise empowers the weaker sections of the society the weaker groups disadvantages groups of the society and nowadays uh, even the dalits and women are actively participating in the political 
activities okay so nowadays uh, they are giving chance for them to come up in the political area so uh, this is what uh, about the universal adult franchise okay so all of them are equal all the citizens of the democratic form of government can enjoy equal voting right so everyone's vote irrespective of their gender religion race and other thing each one of uh, the vote is counted as the same value okay and this gives the empowers to the disadvantaged groups like dalit and women and nowadays they are also actively participating in the political area and the second thing the constitution abolished untouchability okay so constitution also abolished the untouchability that means uh, uh, this is uh, one of the major step so this uh, abolition of untouchable untouchability is a major step taken towards taken to protect the dignity of the dalits okay so because untouchable uh, untouchable people were known as the dalit people so the constitution prohibits the untouchability the abolition of untouchable uh, untouchability as a major steps taken to protect the dignity of the dalit groups in india and the government has also launched various programs to the welfare of the disadvantages groups so the government also initiated the lot of programs for the welfare of the disadvantages groups okay and now so seats were reserved for the sc and st so the seats were reserved for scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes because uh, we know that they are the weaker sections of the society so by providing some uh, special seats reserving the seats for the sc st uh, it gives some uh, improvement in the life of the people okay and uh, they are not only reserved seats in the elections in the parliamentary elections and they also reserved some seats in the educational institution and also in the the job opportunities in the government sectors or else in the in the public uh, sectors okay so uh, some of the seats were allotted were reserved for the sc st groups of people not only in the political area and also in the education institution and also getting the government jobs okay so seats are reserved for sc st to improve the life of the people and then several initiatives were launched to save girl child and then her rights to education because in the uh, olden days the people uh, uh, don't want to uh, make the girl child to get educate because uh, they thought that uh, it is a burden for them to educate a girl child so they were they just prefer to have a boy child and to give a uh, education to only the boy child only but nowadays the situation has turned up a lot and lot of initiatives taken to to save the girl child and also her rights to education so this steps has taken by the government to save the girl and also to save her rights to protect the rights of right to education and then the the uh, the beti bachao and beti padhao the scheme was also launched by the government uh to uh, give more importance to the girl child okay so uh, the beti bachao and beti padhao the initiative program was also launched by the government to save the girl child okay so these are the steps taken to improve the improve the condition of the disadvantaged groups in the democracy form of government okay just a minute children so today we learnt about the equality and justice okay and uh, what are the steps taken to improve the disadvantaged groups in our society okay that's all children thank you